Hi, I'm Pat Randolph. Welcome back to Enjoy the Pigs Restaurant Review of Rosedale's Barbecue in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, as you may or may not know, Enjoy the Pig is sponsored by Uber uh, and uh, Uber's driver referral program, which will pay you up to $200 and us up to $200 if you use the code, which should be on your screen now. So if you uh, use this code and sign up as an Uber driver, uh, we'll get you a bonus and you will support Enjoy the Pig in our ongoing efforts to provide quality restaurant reviews around the nation. Um, today is the uh, review of the restaurant we are naming the best white barbecue in Kansas City, Rosedale's Barbecue. Uh, they've been around for 75 years on uh, are just uh, west of the state line uh, in Kansas City, Kansas on Southwest Boulevard. Uh, this restaurant uh, is, uh, uh, is known for kind of a peasant food offering. It's been around for a long time very popular restaurant, and at one point in time was the least expensive barbecue restaurant that I know of in town, uh, with uh, also uh, in combination with Quick's Barbecue down the street, which sadly closed after many, many years of operation just recently, um, which offered the same style of barbecue. Now, uh, uh, Rosedale's Barbecue is white barbecue prepared in a smoker behind a restaurant, uh, and uh, so that's going to be a very kind of a fatty tender uh, style of barbecue served with multiple side items uh, on a plate. You can eat it in You can eat it in at a counter. Uh, there are some tables uh, or you can take it to go. Uh, uh, unfortunately they are both uh, both to go and uh, and in, in store are served in styrofoam. Not my favorite. But what is my favorite is Rosedale's fantastic preservative free barbecue sauce which is unbelievably good. Uh, and if you don't want to drown it uh, like you would with gate sauce, it's a little bit different. Extremely spicy, very tasty. Um, Ro Rosedale's offers a wide variety of beers and sodas. But really, Rosedale's barbecue should be properly eaten with a can of RC uh, or, a, or a quart of Miller beer. That's how uh, Rosedale's, uh, uh, that's all Rosedale's used to offer, and I believe that's still the way to eat it. Uh, Rosedale's has two specialties, ribs and chicken. Uh, they're, uh, half burden fries, uh, with an RC, which for decades was about $5, I think is now about $10. Uh, uh, Rosedale's, uh, did experience a slight dip in quality, uh, uh, in the last half of the last decade, and they have since, uh, improved their, their meat product. They have a new meat distributor, um, and they've improved their cooking methods and, uh, their barbecue's back up to what it used to be. Uh, Rosedale is also famous for its crinkle cut fries. Which you can order, uh, you can order as you like. You can order them uh, crispy, uh, and you'll get them a little bit more well done. Uh, their fries are fantastic. Uh, in my opinion, the best fries I've ever eaten, and uh, and you can get them. Uh, you know, like I say, uh, they come with most of the items on the menu. Uh, Rosedale's does offer a wide variety of foods, and something I like is they offer non-barbecue offerings, which is great if you're going to bring the kids along. Kids often do not have the palate to, uh, to eat the barbecue and. Uh, uh, you know, unlike places like Gates, uh, Rosedale does not take itself super seriously. Uh, you can go there; it's relaxed atmosphere. Uh, you know, uh, my favorite server is Stephanie. Uh, she works during the day on Wednesdays and on Saturdays. Uh, but they're all nice women there who serve, uh, serve you. Um, uh, the food is a, a very good, consistent quality. Uh, the chicken is very tender with a crispy uh, skin. Uh, again, it's cooked in a smoker as opposed to a pit, so that's generally accepted as the best way to cook a chicken, uh, and it's reflected in the quality of the product, very good quality product. Uh, their ribs, which are also very good, are radically different from Kansas City ribs. These are more, again, of a Midwestern, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa style of ribs. It's a very, has a very meaty pork rib uh, cooked to where it's falling off the bone. Um, a little bit difficult to eat because of, uh, of the, uh, the consistency of the, the meat is going to be, is going to be very thick and it's going to be very greasy. So you're going to want to uh, not eat, uh, maybe a half slab of ribs like you would a gauge. You're going to want to maybe have a couple bones cause it, it, it will, it will fight back on you. Uh, but, uh, uh, their ribs are very good. Now their pricing is slightly less than a place like Gates and markedly less than Oklahoma Joe's or Q39, which shares this style of barbecue. Uh, their ribs are about $15 a slab and $20 a slab. I believe that they are going to charge based upon the weight of their ribs, uh, unlike a flat rate, which some of the barbecue places charge. 
And again, their half bird fries and soda is going to be right around $10, which would be the two items I would get. They do have a dish called the flying pig, which I think is a really, it's, uh, it's, it's two or three bones of ribs, uh, which really uh, is enough because that style of ribs, again, you don't want to eat a whole lot of them, and they're real meaty. Uh, two or three bones of ribs, and on top of a half bird, on top of a uh, of beans, slaw, and fries. Uh, you can get all fries. Their beans and slaw at Rosedale's are, again, pretty typical white barbecue restaurants. Uh, they're not real strong, but their fries are very strong. Uh, so I recommend those items. Um, Rosedale's Barbecue has been in business for over over seventy five years. Uh, they have they have utilized a traditional smoker, which is kept behind the restaurant. Uh, they, I do not believe that they smoke, they think they smoke their chickens and their ribs separately. Um, and, uh, they are, um, uh, uh, they are in a, in a, you know, they're open till nine o'clock at night and it's a really good, like I say, kind of peasant food offering. It's nothing fancy. And, uh, in a lot of Kansas City and eat there, I'll frequently see people from the Kansas City Star eating there. Um, it's a mainly white clientele. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever seen a black person in Rosedale, to be honest with you, but, uh, uh, it was originally Rosedale's and Quick's kind of came about with the emergence of the auto industry in Kansas City, Kansas, which was originally in Missouri, uh, but moved to Kansas after uh, uh, labor laws in Missouri uh, were a little bit more favorable for uh, you know, the laborers. So uh, a lot of a lot of big factories, including a, a gigantic uh, GM factory, uh, opened up there in uh, in that area uh, uh, near. Uh, the uh, Quicks and uh, Rosedales. And so that's kind of how they became popular. Uh, they have become emboldened by the, uh, by the American Royal Barbecue. And although I not even know if they're competitors, I know they haven't ranked very high, uh, that style of barbecue is a style of barbecue you would get at the American Royal Barbecue competition. Um, so uh, if you're coming to Kansas City, you want traditional white Kansas City barbecue, this would be the place to go. Rosedales, they've been around the longest. Their product quality is consistent. If they're nice people, it's no stress. Just go in there and enjoy yourself. Uh, they've always got a game on, and the, the wait staff is pleasant and relaxed. And then, you know, and then, like I say, it's no, there's no servers, just like there shouldn't really be servers in barbecue restaurants. This is like that. You know, it's got a table with a roll of paper towels on it. Um, you help yourself to free water and refills on your tea. Uh, and uh, like I say, a can of RC or a quart of Miller beer is what you want to eat them with, even though they do offer a variety of craft brews and a million other things. This is a kind of a new thing in barbecue. It, you know, barbecue, it, even though it's gourmet food, and I would argue with anyone that it's, you know, who, who, who would care to differ, barbecue is gourmet as any food. Um, you know, uh, a good Pilsner beer is what you want to, what you want to drink with it. You don't get anything dark, heavy. Don't, don't get a blue nun or something like that. Just enjoy it with a nice Pilsner beer. Uh, and uh, Boulevard has some fine offerings, which they offer there at the restaurant. Also, of course, uh, back in the day, they had quarts of beer. You get a Miller, a quart of Miller. That's what they offered. <laughs> a quart of Miller or a can of RC. Those are your choices. Um, and uh, I think you'll enjoy Rosedale's. If you're, if you're, if you're into that kind of barbecue, uh, you won't do much better. And, again, it's a similar style of barbecue to what you get at Jack, Fiorella's Jack Stacker Q39 for about a half, half the price to a third of the price. Uh, and I think it's just as good. Uh, and uh, Oklahoma Joe's would be... Uh, the modern incarnation of Rosedale's. Rosedale's was around, you know, 60 years before Oklahoma Joe's, but uh, Oklahoma Joe's thanks to the American Royal has become prominent. I think they've changed their name to Kansas City Joe's. We'll review them later. But uh, uh, Rosedale's uh, is going to get four out of five stars. Uh, they get five stars for their chicken, which is their signature dish. Uh, they get three and a half stars for their other dishes and sides. I don't think they're as strong as Gates there. Uh, and uh, they, uh, for atmosphere and overall experience, uh, they get five stars. I think that uh, Rosedale's is exactly what you want in a barbecue restaurant. Plenty of parking. It's fast. They're nice. Food's well-priced. Uh, convenient hours, convenient location. Uh, I think Rosedale's has got it all. Uh, and uh, so from that standpoint, I'm re they're very impressive. And they do win best white barbecue in Kansas City, or you could say best American Royal style barbecue, if you want to call it that. Uh, the... Uh, uh, Rose, again, uh, our reviews are sponsored by Uber. Uh, if you want to sign up for Uber, please use the code that should be on your screen right now. Uh, we'll get up to $200, and you'll get up to $200 as a bonus for using this code. Uh, we appreciate you watching Enjoy the Pig, and uh, come back for more reviews.